Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And yes, I am recording two videos at the same time and they'll probably go up at the same day. Because this day, Wednesday the 19th of May, as I'm recording it, Steve Clark put out his 26 main squad for Euro 2020, obviously. Obviously, I swear to God, but you know what I mean, it was cancelled last year. Um, it was interesting to see, Alex had uh, Nathan Patterson coming out the squad, David Turnbull, Billy Gilmore coming out the squad, great, potent, uh, great young players coming out of the um, obviously, um, um, the Euro the Euros this, this uh, summer coming up, a month away, um, you know, it's great to see that, uh, young players coming back up, great talent they've got, uh, every single one of them, um, Nathan Parson, shown he's, even though I'm not a Rangers fan, he's, you know, he's shown good potential, um, you know, the hard games, um, you know, he's played. Uh, David Turnbull, obviously, you, you know, um, obviously I'm a Celtic supporter, he's really good, free kick wise, he's really good, he's a, he's a great midfielder, um, I was disappointed when Clark uh, first initially never picked him, but um, I kind of knew when the squad went up to 26 players, he was, go was going to get picked, I mean, we were in there, you know, kind of knew, and obviously Billy Gilmore, obviously, with Chelsea, obviously getting into the Champions League final, wow, 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 that's good, good one for Billy Gilmore, um, but first, before we get into the talking of the, the players and such, because um, obviously I know my channel is mainly Celtic Pacific, um, you know, all basically it's all Celtic, but, you know, I like to talk about, you know, as I've done throughout the international breaks, um, I did watch longs and I make, put, put them on the channel, and um, you guys really enjoyed them. So I'm doing the Scotland this summer, of course, it's a big competition, with 20, 20, 23 years since we've been in a, a big competition like the Euros, so... Um, do you know what, I'm going, I, I don't know if you'll see it guys on the screen, I'll try and get up on the screen, but this is my prediction, my tournament predictor. You can get yours, you can you can do it yourself on uh, UEFA.com. It's not sponsored, it's just sales at the bottom. <laughs> um, or what do you think is going to happen this summer at the Euros? Um, so, obviously, it's, uh, Scotland start with in the Netherlands um, away. Um, I do think Scotland will beat the Netherlands. I hope they do. And then we'll... we'll you, you know, we'll face Turkey. Um, I, this is just my prediction. I don't think it will happen, but imagine if it does, it will be scenes, right? And then we'll face Sp Spain. When we beat Turkey. Uh, we'll beat Spain. We'll get in the final with France. And we'll beat France. We'll win the Euro 2020. We'll win it, don't we? I feel like we can win it, but, I don't, you know, it'll be depending on the, the final. I don't... I, I know we beat France. I, I, you know, I wasn't... A lot. What's that? What's that? Was I born, just born when Scotland beat France? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know James McFadden scored it. When was it? 7th October 2007, so... Oh, two, not 2007. 7th October 2006, so it was a year before I was born. Um. James McFadden's goal scored again to beat France Scotland. Um maybe we could do it again. Hopefully we can. I want to see Celtic do well in this uh, Celtic Oh my god. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> because I had Celtic I was about to say something about Celtic like the Turnbull, but I hope Scotland do well in the Euro twenty twenty. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say, guys. Um guys, if we can get past the group stages, I think we could do very well. Um Obviously, the England game speaks for itself. It's a very good game, obviously, against England. Very good if we can beat them. Very good. Um, you know, let's get into the, you know, the, the team that he's predicted. But, obviously, because my channel is Celtic-related and stuff. Um, we got six players, uh, Celtic, six Celtic players named in uh, the Scotland squad uh, for, obviously, the Euros. Um, Steve Clark has named the Celtic six players in his 26-man squad for the Euros. Uh, which will take place this summer. Scotland will play in a major tournament for the first time since World Cup 98 in France, thanks to their dramatic penalty shootout win over Serbia in the, the European qualifier playoffs in November last year. Celtic midfielders Cal McGregor and Ryan Christie were key figures in the crucial game, with McGregor assisting Christie for Scotland's only goal before the tie went to penalties. Um, Celtic went through blah, blah. Steve Clark unex unsurprisingly named both of the hoop stars in the twenty six man squad. The pair have forty seven caps between them with McGregor on twenty nine and Christie on eighteen. Celtic's David Tumble was impressed in his first season 
and the hoops have uh, having scooped the play the club's player of the year and young player of the year award before receiving PFA Scotland Young Player of the Year award. Steve Clark has awarded twenty one year old for his performance during the twenty 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 one season with a place in the squad for the Euros. James Forrest has much 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 of this season through injury, but the hoop swinger hit the ground running upon his injury, uh, return last month. He will have the chance to return to add uh, to his five Scotland goals after Steve Clark including him in the squad. Um, two Celtic defenders are also being named in the Scotland squad. Uh, it's Greg Taylor already has four caps to his name and is part of Steve Clark's squad. Six hoops, hoops player included Jack Kendrick who spent 20, a season on loan uh, at Belgian side Ostende. Um, here are the upcoming Scotland fixtures, guys. Obviously, we're playing the Netherlands away Wednesday the 2nd of June. Uh, kick off at the quarter to eight kick off in Portugal. Um, then we await, we're at Luxembourg. We play away at Luxembourg on Sunday the 6th of June. Um, that's a 5 pm kick off. Obviously, it's going to be in Luxembourg. Um, that's international friendlies before we play uh, the Euros, as well as friendlies. So, a wee warm up before we play the, the Euros. The first Euro game is the Czech Republic. Um, at home at Hampden Park, Monday the fourteenth of June, two p.m. kickoff, and then it's a big one. It's the big one, England versus Scotland, Friday the eighteenth of June, two days before my birthday, at uh, eight p.m. kickoff at Wembley Stadium, and then it's the big one as well. Uh, one day after my birthday, um, we play the World Cup second place finisher, Croatia, um, we play at Hampden Park in that game. So there you go. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, just telling you a wee bit about Scotland. What you would expect in the Euros this summer. Um, remember guys, you can make that predictor uh, on UEFA.com. I'll try and get the picture up for you. I don't know if I will, but I'll try and get it up for you. Um, but until then guys, please subscribe and like. Fingers crossed for Scotland and the Euros. Peace.